We wanted to do something which was very different to everywhere else. We wanted to give kids who didn't have a chance to go to medical school a chance. We persuaded the government to create places focused on social mobility and new medical schools. Achieving those 100 government funded places is really a game changer for us. This allows us to realise our vision of social inclusivity. How do you get those local students who come from the most socially deprived background onto a medical course? That led to what we call the Sir Doug Ellis Healthcare Pathway Programme. This is a programme that allows 16 to 18 year olds to see if they're interested in studying medicine or other healthcare professions. Teaching them social skills as well as academic skills. We've now had 100 students go through the whole thing and now we have 20 conditional confirmed places given to these students. I'm completely grateful for having the opportunity to study medicine at Aston University. This is a life-changing event for me and it would have not been possible if it went for the program that is helping people like me and others that would have not had the skills and confidence to apply for medicine. Nobody's been to university in my family before so I feel without the Pathway to Healthcare program I probably wouldn't have ever applied to university. Because I was the only person in my school who wants to study medicine there wasn't much support and having that um, support with our UCAS, with our interviews as well from the team here definitely helped me gain a conditional offer at Aston Medical School. Thank you for helping people like me. And thank you for giving us the tools to accomplish our dreams and to get to where we want to be in life. Thank you. <laughs> we are doing research that is at cutting edge where directly translational medicine. My research at Aston Medical School uh, focuses on a disease called preeclampsia. It has the potential to be able to cure and help 8.5 million women around the world. We are leading the way globally on providing new ways of diagnosing and also therapy. We've really decided to focus on the areas of healthcare need in our curriculum. We've also put the patient right at the centre of, of studies and we want students to really get familiar with that before they go on and adopt the role of the, the medical student and, and in later years the junior doctor. I've been overwhelmed by the amount of positive feedback we've had for the medical school from government local government, politicians. You're more likely to stay in the area that, that, that you're trained. So having one of the medical schools say, but we're going to do a real focus on local people coming through, I think this is a real boost for the sustainability of the NHS uh, in our region. Aston Medical School will be a beacon for the people of Birmingham and beyond.